That's a long throw, and Tool got it there. And you look where that ball comes out of his hand. It's got zip on it. It goes across the entire field, and it makes a beeline rather than floating on it. That was a really nice throw by Jeff Tool. Once the ball snapped, you really do forget about whatever's hurting on you. It's just adrenaline takes over. Two weeks after returning from a broken collarbone, Jeff Tool is still shaking off the rust. The injury sidelined him for four games, but he was never far from the action. Coaching him up, and, and I, I'm, I'm considered a veteran now, and I know the offense as good as anybody, and I'm just coaching the younger guys up. He's always live, getting the guys pumped up. He just, he's always talking, always in somebody's ear, um, mo motivating them and trying to get them better. His mind has been in it from the day you get it. As uh, soon as he got hurt, to be quite honest, he was right back on the sidelines and helping the quarterbacks. He's been in every meeting, he's been in the huddle, he's been every bit of the quarterbacks. Marshall Lopestal proved a solid replacement and made a seamless transition as play caller. The Cougars racked up the yards and wins without Tool. In some ways, it's almost as if the injury never occurred. Tool himself is surprised it did. I didn't even know what happened when it happened um, on the field. I, I, like finish a drive with it or something. I just kind of, that's what I'm feeling. It's kind of like, oh, my shoulder hurts a little bit. And, and I felt a little bump and poked on it and it hurt. So and I knew it was, it was serious. In hindsight, the injury looks more like a bump in the road, a testament to his work ethic and the leader he's become at WSU. He's, he's very mentally mature and, and uh, he gets it. Back goes Tool, throws to the right side. That's caught at the 15 yard line down to the 10.